So now what we want to do is we want to get this logo in the center like we showed before. And I'm just going to tell you that what we're going to do is basically make this area big enough. We're going to move it all the way over to the right so that it forces everything else down below it. So in order to do that, we first need to figure out what this is. And I'm going to right click over this and inspect element and it's going to bring me to what you see here, the image class logo. And that's part of what we need to know. But really, I can tell you that what we actually need to know is this part right here. Div, or I'm sorry, it's ID header logo. If I look on the right, I can see some of my properties. And one very important property is the width, the 264 pixels. Well, what I want to do is make it as wide as my PrestaShop page. And you may be asking, well, how do you know how big your PrestaShop page is? Well, let's go find out. If we go over here to div ID page, and I click on that, it's going to bring up the properties for the page, and there it is, 980 pixels. So I know how wide my PrestaShop page is. In fact, if I highlight it, you can see from left to right, everything's turned blue, and that's the 980 pixel width that you're seeing. So let's go back down here to header logo, and I'm going to click on that and I've got a width of 264. Well, let's change that width to 980 pixels. And now what's happened is it's basically created a box up here, and I'll show you how you can see that in a minute, but there's a box that goes from the left side here to the right side, and it's 980 pixels. If you click on the Layout tab in this section, and then you just highlight this, there you can see the box. So that's what we just created, a 980 pixel wide box by 84 pixels high. Okay, let's go back to the Style tab. So that's a good start. Now, we have to make a couple other changes in order to get the logo centered. Okay, the first thing we need to do is add another line. And I'm just going to click on the 980 pixels and then click the Tab key, and that will bump me down to the next line. And we're going to do what's called a Text Align Center. And then I just hit Enter. Okay, now you'll notice I typed in text align center, but nothing happened, right? All right, that's, that's, what was, that's the way it was supposed to work. What we need to do is make one other change, and right now what I'm gonna do is go to image class logo, and I'm gonna turn off the float. So I just hit this little symbol that looks like a no, no symbol. It turns off the float temporarily. And then you can see that the PrestaShop logo is now centered in that space. So if I do a layout, you can see that that puts that logo right in the center. You can also see some additional information. For instance, there is some margin of 11 pixels at the top. So this is a very handy way to figure out where your stuff is. And you can play around with it. For instance, if you wanted to change your margin to something more or less, you just click on it. And I'm using my up and down arrows, and it's changing it quite a bit. So I can go you know, 37 or whatever, but I'm just going to leave it at 11 where it was. I don't want to mess around with that for now. I just wanted to show you that's how you would do it. Okay, let's go back to style. So essentially, we've achieved our goal. We've centered the logo on the page. But I want to show you two other things while I'm at it. Um, this here doesn't look so good. I'd prefer just to have it go all the way over. Now, you might say, well, I don't want any of that. But that's okay for now. I just want to show you kind of how to manipulate some of these other areas. So I'm going to scroll down a little further. And I'm just going to highlight a couple of these so you can kind of see what they do. So for instance, this one is div header right. So I mentioned that earlier in the video. That is the other section. And I'm going to open that up so you can see everything in it. Now these are pieces of div header right. Some of these ones that say script, they don't show up because they're scripts and not actual divs. But what we're going to be working with first, let's start with div id header right. And what I want to point out is that this width was meant to go right beside the logo. So the logo was, I believe, 264 pixels. Well, if you do the math, the 73% winds up being the remainder of 980 pixels minus the 264. For some reason, they just chose to represent it as a percent. So I'm going to change that to 980 pixels and make it full width. And you can see now that the changes have automatically been implemented. And I think that looks better. May not be what you need, but it's just an idea on how to play around with it. 